as a foreigner who is living in a foreign country there are some things i would definitely like and the things i don't like okay i've actually done a video on the things i love about kenya and today i'm going to be talking about the things i hate about kenya oh my god you know when i was trying to do this video or when i wrote this down on my content bucket okay so i felt like how are you guys going to take it hope you won't feel bad like i was just feeling somehow but of course i have to do it okay because any country i travel to i have to do a video about what i like and what i don't like because i definitely somebody might actually have the same issues just like me okay but they're actually not much because i like everything about kenya yes kenya is one country i've actually traveled to without you know feeling so bad about a lot of things but i'm going to just be saying a few of the things i actually do not like okay and of course i actually cannot do anything about it it's it's there it's there to stay it's either i get used to it or definitely i got used to it i got used to the fact it happened or it's there i can't do anything about it or it can be improved on can they i doubt but they're always there so i'm just going to state them why some of them are actually cultural thing that maybe i was used to a particular thing then i'm not seeing hi guys here. welcome back i'm back again to my channel it's so good to have you come back thank you so much for clicking i'm really grateful and thank you so much to my returning subscribers you guys are the real mvp thank you so much for always watching my videos and in case you are here you have not subscribed to my channel do well to subscribe to the channel right now by clicking the subscribe button and you know be part of the family okay and i promise to be good to be a good guy i promise <laughs> okay guys let's dive right into the video so number one thing i don't think i like about kenya is the uh the food yeah <sighs> okay it's the food okay and in as much as i like the chapati okay but i don't like what goes with the chapati some people eat it with some kind of beans it's weird eating chapati with beans even though i've not eaten chapati before until i came to kenya <laughs> that's the truth but i think i just kind of like the chapati so what i do is to make the chapati with some sauce so I, I get some vegetable like carrots green beans all the veggies okay i just used to make a sauce then to eat my chapati maybe with tea you guys you know our nigerian kind of tea is not your kind of tea okay not the uh not the beans that comes with it or the soup i don't think i like the soup that my friend uh what's that soup again the cabbage soup or so that she made and brought to me to eat one time i was like what is this again <laughs> so i don't like uh what goes with it yeah but i like the chapati okay i've also come to like biryani i like biryani i think that's like my favorite rice but i don't like the sauce that is always put on the biryani i think that was what makes it the biryani but i like the colorfulness in the biryani like you have the white and some kind of mixture of orange color i don't know if that's i doubt that's oil that's not uh, that's not uh red oil that should be i don't know what you guys use please if you know kindly drop it at the comment section what is it that you guys used to cook biryani kind of rice okay the white rice and the colorfulness that comes with it share in the comment section i want to know what that is okay because i've actually not asked about that before but i just like the colorfulness okay but Mm, I don't like the sauce. The sauce kind of, it, I don't know how it makes me feel when that sauce is added. So I just prefer maybe, but I end up liking the food. I don't know, but I think because, you know, the tomato stew that we make in Nigeria is kind of very rare dish. We use a lot of tomatoes, but I don't know how you guys prepare your tomatoes that it doesn't, it doesn't red. It's not red. And I don't know how you guys, it just, the face is just kind of, somehow then i don't like the fact that uh, the foods are kind of bland they don't have they're not spicy okay that the, i think i'm used to a particular taste but i know you guys i'm not no no bad feelings here okay i know you guys is your food is your culture if you come to nigeria you're going to complain of pepper you're going to complain of a lot of things yeah a lot of food that we eat there's some of the animals that we eat, you'll be like, what are you doing here? <laughs> I don't think you want to try snails and all of that. You'll be like, oh, what are you doing? Eating snails, all those kind of things, okay? But eh, I think I just don't like the fact there is no pepper in the food. It's not, it's, not, it's kind of bland. There is no kind of sauce, you know? Do you people even use 
maggi to cook like or crayfish yeah that's true there's actually no crayfish in kenya what i keep seeing is this fish that we don't even eat in nigeria so those small small fish and you guys actually can eat that fish like that like somebody one of my one of my friend was eating one time and she bought that fish alone now just eating it i forgot what she used it for i think she used it to take porridge i don't know but guys the food here is something but uh, another food that i actually kind of like is the pilau but even though it doesn't give me that jollof taste okay but i kind of make use of it when i'm very hungry and i needed to buy food from maybe from a uh, quick mart or what have you i can i think the easiest food i can buy is pilau yeah because it kind of relates to our jollof but <laughs> it's nowhere close to jollof <laughs> yeah <laughs> so i it's kind of close yeah but there's this kind of taste i actually get at the end of the day which i don't think i like yeah so that's it for food <laughs> that's it for that can you actually have other kind of food for ogali is so hard guys see so we eat actually a bar fufu in nigeria okay and mm, they can be hard but not as hard as ogali so what kenyans does is that they chew their ogali okay you guys chew we don't chew in nigeria we swallow and i don't want to choke myself eating one hard ogali so what i do is that because the cost of gari is actually very expensive here so what i do is that i buy ogali okay so i make it my own way kind of soft and i make the quantity i can eat at a time because it kind of i make sure it finish because if you leave it for a, a longer time it gets hard then if you leave it for the next day okay it gets really soft and messy i don't think you can eat that so i try to make the quantity that we can eat at a time you know make my okra soup and or any kind of soup i can lay my hands on and eat it so that's it for the food uh, is there another food i think there are other food but i've not tried but i i kind of like the uh um uh, chomas you know mm, the uh yes <laughs> all the meats all the you know all the meats the roasted meat and all the all that that you can get from the street i like that i also like the fact that you can get uh some of these snacks on the roadside okay you know when you go to the market you want you're looking for uh you're buying something you might just be hungry and the next place you're going to see is where they fry all of these snacks that you know you normally in nigeria you can buy those from a fast food restaurant okay or restaurant but uh for kenyans they fry the uh, samosas you can get them from the street you can get them along the road okay you see them frying it there some of them are actually very good yeah I've tried them <laughs> so that's what i can say but i think for the food just that just that i think my taste bud is used to a kind of food because you know of course all my life i've been nigeria nigeria although i've tried other people's food but kenya is like a place i've actually stayed to really eat a lot of i think i should do a video about my stay in uganda and you know all the things i also ate yeah <laughs> uganda's wait for you that video will have to come live okay so you know that's just it i think it's my taste board yeah your food is nice but that's me <laughs> okay let's go to the next point is the noise yeah because uh, guys so kenyans actually believe that nigerians are noise makers we make a lot of noise uh flat apartment is always filled with noise and all but you guys forgot to say something some of you guys actually make noise in the apartment <laughs> so i have lived with people that they play music and they will hide this music they'll forget that somebody's living close to them like i'll be like is it that this person doesn't know that somebody's living in this flat the noise eh, is something and guys it's actually not a nigerian living they have not lived in a flat where in a compound where that nigerians is always kenyans making this noise i don't know why did you learn it from nigeria or something i, I don't understand that <laughs> so another thing is that when you enter a matatu it's either you just tell everybody that will call you on the phone to just forget about calling you team when you get down from the matatu okay because the noise from the matatu is top notch <laughs> these matatus will just be making noise like playing loud music so if you're somebody that don't like kind of noise when you're going to work especially on a monday morning where you know you need to be in touch you need to <laughs> i don't know but 
noise in that ballad so the music is always very high and i don't see people complain unlike nigeria where you you be in a bus and you know uh and the driver is playing a kind of loud music and somebody will be like oh god be reduce that music i beg it too loud with their church i be with their club you see that kind of thing but there nobody complains everybody's just used to it i remember the day i was sitting in front and this driver was the music was so high he saw that i was making calls you guys and he never tried to reduce that music i felt so bad like what's happening here <laughs> i wanted to go mad i wanted to shout but i would be like a crazy person shouting why will i have to shout i just turned to him and said sir please can you reduce the volume of your music you reduce this guy so but it was still it was just that like he did minus one okay but the noise on matatus are just so much okay uh i kind of like it sometimes because when you are kind of in a bad mood when you're kind of in a ba bad mood music kind of music is one thing that it kind of revive your spirit i love music it's one way for me to revive okay so sometimes you just find yourself you know dancing to the bedroom but <laughs> when you are ready to concentrate you don't need loud music <laughs> you don't need noise especially when you want to make a call when you want to take a call you're going to somewhere you don't know the direction to where you're going to you don't need somebody calling you and saying you're shouting hello hello can you hear me i don't like those shouts in the bus so most people will be talking in the bus and their voices are so loud and this is because of the music that's coming out from whatever <laughs> i think this can be controlled but we actually have no choice than to get used to it okay so if you're coming to kenya get used to the fact that uh matatus always play loud music and you're going to get used to the noise okay but every other thing is kind of calm there's no generator noise blowing your ears boo, 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 boo. okay and <laughs> okay there are actually no other noise i think kenyans are actually soft soft spoken people that they're not loud okay okay guys let's go to the next point what well, again don't i like about kenya <laughs> guys the mirror i guess i guess i got that right the way they choose that mirror <laughs> oh you think it's one sweet thing so there's this leaf actually that we chew uh, it's called pepper fruit leaf okay we chew it in nigeria so the pepper fruit the leaf is actually tastes like pepper okay and it's kind of very nice to chew so that's why we kind of chew it not for any highness there's no highness in it because even children actually chew it it's very healthy okay so right from kids you know like right from when we are kids we also choose that but now coming to kenya and i'm seeing people chewing kind of leave in the bus station in the bus in the matatus the conductor is talking to you he's chewing it and the thing is everywhere in his mouth you go to the beach somebody is chewing it and he's talking to you like all of those things <laughs> i don't know but I don't like this mirror thing <laughs> guys but does it actually make people high i don't know why people say it makes them high makes them relax so, somebody was telling me that it makes him relax when he feel like relaxing you're not relaxing in a matter too you are working you are a, a bus conductor and you are chewing mirror and you're talking to your customer how do you how, how does that make me feel when you come to mombasa you see a lot of it i don't know if that's like that in Nairobi. Please tell me if you're in Nairobi, do they chew mirror on the street like this? Like, but I feel that anything that makes you high should be something that you take and go and rest. That's what I feel. Not something you have to chew on the road everywhere you go. I think it's something that you should chew while sitting down in your house. My feeling though. <laughs> Guys, I love Kenya. <laughs> you should know that. Okay, I don't know when I'll stop talking about Kenya and all the experiences, all the things I experienced living in Kenya, but Kenya is so beautiful. You should come visit Kenya. <laughs> you should come visit Kenya. So guys, if you have a question about Kenya, drop, drop it. I drop a message at the community, okay? Just drop it at the community and I'm going to answer you. I'm going to answer you on Wednesday. I might not go live, but I'm going to do a video about it because I've been so busy these days trying to pack and all of that. But I'll try to answer every question, both on my Instagram, uh, DM, send me a DM. I'll also answer all of that question. Okay, so I'm going to end this video here. You guys, you already see, I don't have a lot I don't like about Kenya. I love everything. Just few of the things I didn't like, which were just normal things, okay? It's 
no more <laughs> so guys thank you so much if you have not subscribed this is the best time for you to subscribe to my channel because i'm taking you to somewhere else that you will love the vlog coming out from there and i want any of you to guess in the comment section where am i going to next where 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 i want to hear listen listen say it <laughs> okay i'll be listening i'll be waiting to read from you let me know what country you think i'm going to next and let's go from there thank you so much guys for watching see you on my next video okay do well to ask me the questions and i'll be answering them on my next video all right guys bye give the video a thumbs up give it a thumbs up give it a 